This is a very exciting TLDR. A couple days ago, Simon and I went hunting for our very first yucatas. Now, for those of you that don't know, a kimono is a very traditional and very fancy outfit that you can wear. Very formal wear. It's not something you wear on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, the equivalent to North America would be if we're going to a wedding and you're wearing like a tuxedo. And you're wearing a ball gown. Like you a ball can't gown. wear a ball gown around when you're going shopping. Until I hit 70, in which case I'll be wearing my ball gowns. Damn I'm right, son. But in Japan, the kimono was very much for like tea ceremonies or like a very fancy restaurant. We saw some really nice yes. ladies wearing kimonos of at course. fancy restaurants. I might be for a wedding and a lot of people in Japan don't wear their kimonos unless there's a special event. The yukata, however, which I've recently learned, is basically a bathrobe. And now I, I know that I'm saying that it like, looks like a bathrobe. Right. I looked it up historically. Turns out back in the day, rich people were like, but I don't want to put my kimono on. It takes so long. There's so many pieces there's like to it. 14 Can pieces. Can we do something a little bit easier? Hence the yukata was born. And it was actually made to get between their house and the bath. It's literally a bathrobe. Yep. So it looks a lot like a kimono, but but it's made usually out of cotton, it's quite light, and there aren't like all those millions of layers with it. And more importantly, it doesn't have all the heavy connotations of a kimono. It's a lot more casual mm. and it's acceptable to wear in public if you want to go grocery shopping or to like a light festival or something yeah. like that. And the other key is that when I was looking up stuff on kimonos, kimonos can change according to like your marital status. Are you single? Are you looking to hook up? How old are you? Like the colors, the patterns, the sleeves, there's all this special stuff, not with the yukata. There is a distinction with yukata there's yukatas for women and yukatas for men and there's a different cut so when we went shopping originally we thought that we were both gonna get yukatas hopefully matching yukatas mm -hmm. because we like to wear matching clothing but turns out that a lot of the really nice patterns that I like were only women's patterns oh. and oh my cheesy chinchilla the selection of men's patterns were very underwhelming but I was looking for something a little bit more extravagant and flamboyant and it's just I'm very picky when it comes to my clothing otherwise and this is very challenging for me. Okay, the first shop we found had a big selection for women and like we went through it and the stuff was really pretty but I think it was more traditional. Yeah. Like even the people working there were quite old uh -huh. and they were so excited for us to be in there yeah. as well. Okay, this little old lady, she's bent over and we held up a print and I'm like, what do you think about this? It matches my tattoo and she went, so good. Yeah. <laughs> so everything there was really beautiful but I think it might have been more expensive and yeah, high class traditional. Yeah, a little bit too rich for our blood. Yeah, we were like, oh, we're gonna go get some lunch and come back, I swear. Yeah. We, never, we came back. never came back. Never came back. I'm sorry, Sigloy lady. <laughs> then we went to another shop that was known to be more funky and modern. <laughs> it had cat prints. Yep, it had cats. cats, it had rainbows, it panda had- Panda bears. Panda bears, it had mismatched geometric shapes and everything. Oh, the one that was like neon green mm -hmm. with neon yellow and orange polka dots. And then we came upon the piece that called me. You didn't see it happen, but the wind blew and my hair went back and the yukata flickered and it went, whoa, dream weaver. And it called to me, Ducky. It was pink and it was it was mint and it had a boat on it. It had a pirate ship. And then the store attendant came up to me and she's like, did you want to try it on? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very modern yukata. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my least booby outfit. It's yeah. like a soft bra. That's cool. Oh, there are two belts to put on. That's why Anna was saying she can't put it on long because oh. so What do you think so far? I kind of really like it. You like it more than the other one? You're asking me to decide between really funky, like stars, mm -hmm. and between like more traditional, it's really difficult for me. I kind of really like this one, it's kind of off. It feels really cool actually. I mean like, I don't mean, I don't mean Segoy, I mean like cold. Oh, this is really, and thus your fate was sealed. Yes. Okay, I have decided on this yukata. Very difficult. There are different like obis and different little like. You're not in the getting bag. all those puffs though. I'm not getting all the puffs because I'll be way too broke. And I feel like a modern pirate. And I decided on some um, beautiful flowers that match the purple and the pink in my hair. And I was worried like you know does it mean anything? Like are you married? Are you not? And she said no. Yukata is just kind of like whatever you want. But if it's a kimono, it's different. So. 
That's it. I got, I'm getting my first and only yukata. You look wonderful, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Ducky. Now we gotta go to a festival and wear it outside. Let's do it. <gasps> How did you feel about the Yukata selection for men at that store? Uh, that store had even less. While in the first store I had like a pile of maybe 20 I could choose mm. from, this one literally just had black, gray, and navy blue. It's mm. not tailored for men at that shop, so my selection was pretty bad. So I didn't wind up getting a Yukata. Okay, Hopefully okay. I could find a funky one soon. I think you might honestly have to get something custom made. I think you have to buy your own panda material. Well, it's possible because at the first place we went to, they had like a whole wall of like fabrics that they could have custom made free but none of those actually spoke to me either so yeah. one of these days I'll find something. What would you want on your Yukata? Uh, do you want like an animal? Do you want memers? Should we make a memer and spuddy? Maybe. Oh you do like galaxy Just friends. Katamaris. <gasps> okay we need we to. We got memers rolling up a ball it's cat Katamari. It's cat. Amari. Amari! Oh my god, has anyone thought of this yet? Should we just copyright it? Are we brilliant? I don't know. High we, five before we, we Google it. We can't copyright the idea that's somebody else's name. You can't just be like, we changed a letter and it's We did. We did. Cat. Amari. It's doesn't, the internet. Doesn't work that People way. People do that all the time. People take way. our videos all the time. Yeah, and then they're like... Now when Martina tried the Yukata on in the shop, it looked great and she had an attendant help her out to make it look really nice. When Martina tried oh, no. to put it on at home oh, by no. herself, it was significantly more challenging. Okay. So then, um, how do I? Uh, grab a neighbor? Should I just. Duh. Online people are like, well, then you take the material and you just tie it in a bowsy. Like, there's the yukatas that are just for the bow, yeah. like just like a tiny, like a bathrobe one, and we got like the really nice holy. There were also some parts in the store that were sold out, like the different belts. That's what underneath. I was gonna say. It's not yes. fair because so you're belts... missing out on yeah. a lot of the equipment that you need. Yeah, and that stuff is really cheap, and you can buy it on like Amazon for like nine or ten yeah, bucks. Yeah. So I'm not gonna buy it at the shop for like fifty just because right. it's a shop. Like uh -huh. I'm gonna go online and get it. Yeah. Great thing about the shop also is that they wind up telling you if you want to wear this out somewhere, bring the yukata over to the shop and they will help you put it on so you don't embarrass yourself in front of our neighbor grandma like you did. Oh, it was pretty... It was the only person I didn't want to see yet. She was super excited about my yukata because she wears kimonos like almost every day we see her going to her tea Just about, ceremonies. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's a tea ceremony like yeah. master. Uh -huh. And so I said, oh, I'm going to get a yukata. And she's like, oh, and she's all excited. Yep. And then she walks up the street with her little milk bag. What and... are the odds? So that's it for our yukata adventure. I'm actually more than happy with our purchase today because I really thought we'd end up having to get a traditional kind. I really wanted to get something that would be Martina, and this is definitely it. Um, we were talking to our friend who's been living here for like 15 years, and she said that back in the day, like 10 years ago or so, you wouldn't be able to find anything like this. So the youth of Japan are definitely trying to have something more fun and festive, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> I got it. This is it. Except the Look back. Look at my back. <laughs> Do <you like> it? <laughs> I will show you a good OB. <laughs> this is laundry Bad laundry OB. OB. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's very young, right? Mm. You look great. <laughs> oh, mm. But this is terrible. You are so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> So beautiful. You love me. <laughs> so beautiful. Is that a laundry pin you have behind you? The only person I didn't want to see my shame. <laughs> She's judging you. She's like, oh no. Princess Peach, what do you think about that? Oh, wow. oh no. Oh, no. oh ducky. ducky. Whoa, what do you want? So my hair comes falling out, this is uneven. I was like, this is the only person She's I don't like, want to see. Why are you showing your vagina to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I've learned things already. Your cut is supposed to be straight. <laughs> Mine isn't. The part that goes underneath they were sold out of it wasn't my fault. Okay, look, the whole point of this video is that we are not the definitive source on yukatas and we're trying to learn. Definitely get a yukata and definitely wear one out and not like me, shamefully, so that your neighbor sees you and then judges you forever. Ah! <laughs> huh? 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 That that laundry pin that we have in the back, that's a that's a good addition. Very modern 
it's a modern take very, on it. Very, very yeah. chic. Now, the one thing I will say was a bit overwhelming was the actual uh, sash, the obi. Yeah. The amount of packaging that she put on me like I was a birthday present. Oh, yeah. So the main belt that I had on, the very thick one, you have to get one of those to actually yep. just have on. You uh -huh. can get smaller versions that kind of look more like a, a robe tie. But then she added on like that white fluffy stuff mm -hmm. and the pink fluffy stuff and the yellow fluffy stuff. And every one of those was like 70 bucks. Yeah. And I was like, nope. <laughs> So every no. bow for 70 bucks, two bows, 140 bucks. This is cool. I can get like you another know Yukata for I'll these be, bows. I'll be all right. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm good. And my friend that was with me was like, you can just go online and buy some scarves. And I'm yeah. like, I that'll, will. That'll work. But that cute puffiness that uh -huh. made me look like a sweet bunny, you can see how young and youthful that looked. It yeah, did yeah. not look like a, a grandmother fashion. Not at all. And that's what I like about the Yukata is changing now. It's becoming much more becoming much more fashionable and trendy, uh -huh. but it still has that kind of like nod to tradition yeah. without being old fashioned. Yep. Wait, can modern Japanese culture culturally appropriate old Japanese culture? How dare they? Can old people be like, hey, you've culturally appropriated this? I could start a new trend. I don't know. Like, can you like, can they like shame themselves? Like, hey, like liberal arts students, how do you feel about this? Actually, very interestingly, I was reading a lot of articles about this and they mm -hmm. were saying that the actual kimono, the kimono culture and the fabric shops that actually make these are dying yep. because they've made the kimono so traditional. Young Japanese people are like, I don't want to wear this. Uh -huh. And that some people are scaring away foreigners from trying on kimonos thus it's creating an overseas like no one wants to wear them and right. they said because of that it's actually dying out completely you're killing the industry yeah and yeah. so a lot of people that are in the fashion world in japan like japanese people are uh -huh. saying they need to stop marketing it as traditional uh -huh. and they need to start being like it's an outfit that people used to wear so they're actually saying this yukata revival Whoop. is really bringing back the industry good and that's awesome it's, it's helping out yeah so that's it for our tldr on yukatas versus kimonos let me know if you like my yukata choice or if you think i should have gotten a different one with cats on it uh -huh. i think my part boat yukata that's pretty good. I think you got a great one, girl. I think I did too. And um, hopefully I could find one soon. If you know any place that I could find one for men that are actually funky. a little bit funkier, please let me know because I really yeah. want to get one too. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the traditional stuff in the blog post if you want to click on the link below. That's about it. That's it. I'm going to learn how to work my yukata. We're going to go to a festival and I'm going to be really proud to wear it. Well, it's, it's I'm also really happy because a neighbor said if you need help with your obi, then you could just like go over to her house and this could finally be the bonding moment that we need. She'll let her guard down and we could kidnap her and we could keep her in our house forever because that's the plan because she's awesome. Kidnap across the street. I love you, old grandma lady. We'll lure her in with my obi. Yes. We'll like unroll the sash <laughs> come, slowly. Come, come, and lock the door. Hey, no, no, no.